answer that question in one second. Just want to quickly show um, this round brush. So this is the round brush that I use. It's also T3. Um, my last one that I've been using, I've been using since all college. So for like eight years now, I had had the same round brush. So it's definitely time for a new one um, to start using a new one. So this one, um, I just use it this. It grips really well to the hair and I would just, you know, pull down like this for blow drying my hair. Um, and I definitely think this is a good size. There is another bigger size, but I thought this one was the, um, the best one for me, just with the, um, the way that I was able to also, you know, pull my hair loose. We can also brush through that curl so you can kind of see how it brushes out right there. Um, but I definitely love this brush. And if you're needing a new round brush, I would definitely recommend this one because, um, I am loving it so far. So um, if you are with the other curling iron, um, thanks Lib for asking that. Here is, I'll, I'll just go back to this curling iron. Um, I would recommend the interchangeable one. Um, I would recommend, well, I haven't, I haven't tried this one. So the question is, would you recommend the interchangeable one or the other one that I was showing? So the Ava NYC. I personally, um, I stick very true to exactly what I am using with the, uh, or the type of curls that I want out of my uh, out of my curler. So I personally don't need the interchangeable one. I know that adding each each additional one is maybe like eighty or a hundred dollars. You know when you do buy those add-ons for your curler. I guess it really just depends exactly if you're if you're wanting to switch up the size of your curls a lot. They do have other ones that don't have a clamp on it. They have ones that um, it's kind of just like a wrap around as well. I personally just with how this has worked for me um, in this. I've been using it, as I said, for the past week, like pretty much every day. And I would say that this is pretty much the best product for me and my hair with the length that I do have. Um, so I personally, I love this one, especially for the price. You really can't beat it for something that isn't as damaging to your hair. Um, when you get any cheaper, you pretty much are going into the ones that I was showing before where it does damage the cuticle of your hair a lot. Um, but love this. I love the look of it. And, um, even for travel, I definitely can see it. It's very easy to wrap up. Um, I can show you it even has one of these, um, little wraps for wrapping all of the cord up. So that is definitely really great there that, um, it's able to use that, but great question there. Yeah, you're welcome. So I just have a couple more things to talk about. So one thing that I always do with my hair is I brush my hair before I shower so it's not all tangled getting in there. Um, and then I also um, brush it, you know, right after I've put a little product in it. Don't brush it right outside of the, right when I get out of the shower. But here 